How's it going, everybody? I think I finally got the powerhouse ready to be built. Just got to see if this is going to connect. And there it goes. Now, this is probably going to start lagging me a bit. All these block changes. But I actually want to watch this be built this time. I didn't uh, watch the other one completely because it was so big. This one's not going to be quite as big. doesn't have anywhere near as many blocks. So I figure we'll watch this one get built. Well, until they start building a wall in front of our face. <laughs> um, I do have to go down and put some things in it every now and then. Um, I got a hopper putting the floor in once all the floor blocks go in. Then I'll have to add in the uh, stone stuff and some netherrack stuff. These are just uh, netherrack stairs here, I do believe. Let's go ahead and go down here. I'm amazed I'm not lagging too bad, but I am killing the power. All my lights are off. It is sucking up every bit of power I got. It's doing a pretty good job of putting it all in. Now, this is the powerhouse that um, Briarios built me. And I think this is going to be my front door right here. He said that there was no actual doors on it. I'm guessing this is just going to be an opening. And I should be able to walk around in here without a problem because I do believe it's a completely empty structure. Yeah, we've really slowed down. It's doing one block at a time now. I guess it's throwing them out a little bit quicker than one block at a time, but pretty close. So let's see what it's doing here. Oh, it's doing one block because that's what it's got sitting there. Let's go ahead and throw it a little more. There we go. Item hopper's empty. So we'll drop all these out of here. And start plopping them in. And then next we'll do the bricks and then the nether brick. The nether brick is the main body of the building. So I'm kind of saving that for the last. Once it's done, I can actually put all my power, hook all my power stuff back up. And hopefully get back to work. Um, speaking of Briario, supposedly, as long as there's no major fails or issues, we will have his add-on coming for me to start beta testing, which I will do right here. Um, the first of the month. So, look forward to that. I'm antsy. I've been bugging him for about a month. Give me something. Give me something. I want to beta test it. So, but he's working his butt off trying to get it done. Trying to do a good job at it. I told him to take his time. Take whatever time he needed to get it done. Don't let me being antsy, rushing. Just want to make sure he does the best job he can do. Um, if you don't know, it's adding tanks of different variants. Um, composite armor, I do believe. Not just the chest plate. There's going to be full composite armor. And there's some other things that Axel and I have 
suggested to him to add to Greg Tech 5. Yeah, this is looking awesome, man. He did a great job designing this. This should work very well for my powerhouse. Let's see what it looks on my on the outside here. Oh yeah, look at that. I thought it was just a straight up and down building. This is a multi-level building. All right. Well, let's go over here and climb up the windmill tower and see what it looks like from up there. Or actually, we'll go on top of this building. Here's a view from here. Looks pretty good. I'm going to have to put some way of getting up here other than going around that building, though. Just going around, that's going to kind of be annoying. I looked at some of the old pictures and realized that this is supposed to be granite up here, not the uh, scaffolding, so I changed this out. I think it looks a lot better that way. Alright, let's go up here and have a look. I want to change these doors out to the ones that open together. And there it is. Already with a zombie spawned on top of it. Let's take a picture of that and send it to Briarios and show him we got it done. And now we'll go on to looking at my new crop bed we just walked by there. And let's find the door here. That wasn't too bad. It took a whole seven minutes to build. That was pretty good. And by the way, I never did get the black horn, black thorn uh, crops that I wanted. I actually got bored waiting for the daggone things to grow and went over to my river over there and went diving and just killed a whole bunch of squids and got the uh, ink sacks that way. I found if you use the chainsaw, tend to get more than if you just use a sword. So if you need to ever collect a bunch of ink sacks, that's the way to try it. Basically, I built this little bed here just trying to get it and so far, everything is what I've put out, or a copy of it. I haven't gotten anything new from it. And we'll go over here and see if I got anything new on the other one. I actually want to look at making some floodlights from IE. And see about putting them around that building to light it up a little bit. I think that might look kind of cool. Well, I got melons. But I already have melons, so it's not anything great that I got. It is something different that's not planted there. But it's not anything particularly great. Let's see, what are they? Are they any good? 323, three, not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. For a starter. Alright, so now I'm going to dismantle my um, Pyroloose oven down here. And take that over there. I'm going to do that off camera. Because I'm going to finally get the tutorial video done for this thing. 
when I rebuild it in the new building. And I still need to get my cracking unit tore down and taken over to the new factory building. Which I still haven't decided if I want to put it in the new factory building or if I want to put it in the um, power building. Probably going to put it in the factory building though. I gotta tear down my lava array here. I still gotta make an extractor. I still don't have a regular extractor. But yeah. I might also move this over there. Haven't quite decided on that either. But I think I'm gonna cut this one short today since we are done with what I planned. I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer to build that. Um, but I guess those two improved, cannot hit that guy. Where is he going? I'm over here, butthead. All right, you got to go because you're getting too close to my crops and you'll plop on them and break something. Now you with all the iron over there. How am I not hitting you? Looks like it's going right over his head. There we go. And now I got the aim. Well, I had it. There we go. Alright, so take it easy, guys. Um, like I said, I'll have that tutorial video out probably later on tonight. And probably be back to Greg 6, six tomorrow. So have a good one, and I will see you next time. Later.